Welcome to another small cap power discussion. This one on location at the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference. Lots of noise around us, but that's what happens when you're at a busy conference. Our guest right now, to my right, your left, is Dr. Yodam Levine. He is uh, the CEO of Nanopath Technologies. Doctor, well, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jay. Um, let's start first with a, a little information history of Nanopath Technologies. Sure. So we were sent to develop the world's smallest injection device. Nowadays, post-COVID, people realize how important this might be. Sure. Uh, people are afraid of getting needle shots, right? Kids are afraid of getting vaccines mm -hmm. and like. We have set out to develop a painless system that allows for injection of vaccines and other products completely painlessly. And this indeed is the probably FDA's um, smallest injection device ever registered. Talk, talk about the, uh, I mean, there's, I can hear people cheering out there because most people, you said kids, but I know a lot of adults that don't want to go near sure. a needle and sure, sure. certainly COVID has, has, has accelerated the point where so many people do need to get needles. Talk about the journey that you've gone on with this product from beginning and, and FDA necessary, but a very huge hurdle. Right, right. So this has been a long journey uh, from developing the device and going through registration. By the way, we've registered in Europe and China and Brazil and many other countries, sure. Canada to follow very soon, uh, but also to, uh, to go through clinical studies to show the benefits of the device. So the benefit goes beyond painlessness. In effect, when you inject vaccines into the skin, we've shown as, you know, as doctors and vaccine developers, you can improve the effect of those vaccines. Why is this the case? Right. The skin is a very potent immune organ. And as, as you inject vaccines into the skin, you improve their effect or reduce the dose required for their vaccination. And this has taken us 60 clinical studies wow. in the span of 10 or 15 years sure. to show this across many vaccines and the many benefits that exist. I worked with the largest pharma companies, worked with CDC and NIH and others mm -hmm. to showcase the benefits of this. And are most of the companies, the pharma companies that you're in contact with, are they all uh, excited about this, um, uh, this new product? Well, it's always has been a challenge with pharma companies being so conservative. Right. I think COVID represents a unique opportunity because it is so disruptive. And companies that were not in the vaccine space have become major vaccine companies. Think about Moderna, Pfizer. True. Yeah, yeah. Right. But also regular, regulators have become more flexible with regards to accelerated approvals. And so I think we have a huge opportunity today that had not existed two or three years ago. And with your company, is this, and understandably so, is this um, your main major focus with the rest of this year and going into 2023? Getting right. it out there to as many countries around the world? Yeah, it's a good question. So we have two verticals for the company. The commercial vertical, we are commercial, we are in sales, but the commercial vertical is in the aesthetic business. As you can imagine, painless injections into the skin yeah. are very good for Botox, mesotherapy and, and liquid products directly into the skin in a painless manner. So this is where we commercialize first because it's the easiest uh, regulatory approach and the fastest to grow. And we've started in Europe and China and Brazil, some other countries going into America and then into Canada. Uh, the other vertical, the vaccine vertical, takes longer. It requires clinical studies and proof and evidence to FDA and others that this works better and is safe and so forth. So this is the next one to come. I <laughs> This is wonderful talking to you. As I said, I know a lot of people that are cheering right now. <laughs> you have taken away some fear for not only kids, but a lot of adults. Uh, more information on uh, the company Nanopass Technologies. Uh, Nanopasstechnologies.com. Am I right on that? Nanopass.com. Yeah. Nanopass.com. Thank you very much for correcting me. I'm talking with the CEO uh, of the company, and he's also a doctor. It's Yodam Levine. Uh, thank you for joining us here today, sir. It's been a thank pleasure you, chatting, too. and I wish you continued success with that. And Thank you for joining us on this edition of Small Cap Power on location at the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference. I'm Jim Gordon. We'll see you again next time.